bunch of slap jaw parano and anorexics around here. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual weightlifting bonobo just like me. And today I want to share with you guys my recent testosterone test results. And I'll throw a screenshot up there right now so you guys can see how, how long-term vegan probably has higher testosterone than you. So as you guys can see, I scored at a very high end at 860 at close to 40 years old. Now I'm making this video because there's a few people out there like Joe Rogan who say if you eat a low fat diet, especially a vegan one, you're going to have too low cholesterol to make any testosterone. Or you're going to be missing something in your diet and because of all that, you're not going to have any libido, muscle or aggression or whatever. Even though there's some vegan UFC fighters out there and vegan porn stars. And ironically, some of these people promote this idea and actually are shooting themselves in the butt with synthetic testosterone, which ironically nowadays is made from soybeans. Well, let me just tell you, I've been eating a vegan diet for over 16 years, and particularly eating a high fruit, low fat diet for the last 11 years, meaning on average I have about 10 to 15% of my calories come from fat. And I try not to eat more than one to two ounces of nuts and seeds a day. And I try not to go crazy with the avocados either. And some days I don't even need any. And I have one of the lowest cholesterol levels you'll probably ever hear about. My cholesterol ranges from 98 to 126. Let me just tell you how low that is. When you go to the doctor's office, they want you under 200. And according to the best science out there, if you want to be heart attack proof, you want to be under 150. And it's just not me. My friend Chris Kendall, who eats very similar to me, uh, Ryan from Happy Healthy Vegan, Jay from 801010 Athlete, Brian Turner who just did an experiment where he ate a bunch of soybean products and his testosterone actually went up. These are all people who have high testosterone while having low cholesterol. Now to contrast, there's a guy, Dr. Baker among others, who've been eating a high meat diet and they have super high cholesterol levels and they have super low testosterone. And the studies confirm this. There's actually a study on vegans having higher testosterone than meat eaters. Also, there's a study by just drinking one glass of milk, it can dramatically lower your testosterone while increasing your estrogen levels. And this might be the reason why it's linked to all the reproductive cancers. For example, cheese was the number one food linked to testicular cancer. And actually, there was a competitive food eater who was known for eating a massive amounts of butter sandwiches and cheese pizzas, all the while making fun of vegans. Well, recently he had testicular cancer and had to get his balls removed, which to contrast, I know two people who reversed their testicular cancer by eating a vegan diet. Also fish, even if it's organic, has large amounts of hormone disrupting pollutants in it that dramatically decrease testosterone. Also, there is a study showing that just eating one high saturated fat meal can drop your testosterone by 23% by up to eight hours. Also, I want to point out that this indirectly means I have healthy levels of vitamin A and vitamin D and zinc, which are essential for healthy testosterone levels, and I don't supplement with any of these. Now, I want to say that testosterone does fluctuate day to day, hour to hour, minute to minute, and there's a huge healthy range to be in. So every time you get tested, it's probably going to be a little different, okay? And there's a lot of things that affect testosterone, for example. There's genetics. Some people are just not born with high levels of testosterone. Your age, the older you get, your testosterone is going to drop. Lack of sleep lowers it. Under eating lowers it. Study, there's, a, there's a good study on um, bodybuilders. When they die down for shows and turn into an anorexic, uh, they actually, you know, their testosterone drops dramatically and their stress hormones go crazy too. Uh, drinking booze lowers it, particularly beer. Drinking out of plastic bottles can possibly lower it from the plastic contaminants. Different emotional states can affect it. Uh, for example, there's a study on sports fans and how their testosterone can change whether or not their favorite team lost or won. Um, watching porn increases it by 35% and supposedly it may even increase your squat over time. So I guess that's not a good news for the nofap community out there. Watching action movies increases it. Supposedly it, there's a study that, that shows that your aggression and testosterone goes up by just touching a weapon. 
Um, having sex with multiple people supposedly increases your testosterone, but being a parent lowers it. Being lonely is associated with higher testosterone. So I guess apparently if you want to have higher testosterone, you got to be a lonely porn star. Just make sure nobody gets pregnant. And then there's an interesting study on relationships showing that when women get into relationships, their testosterone goes up. And when men get in relationships, their testosterone drops. And this one is really important uh, for all you uh, weightlifting fans out there. Weightlifting actually can drop your testosterone in half by just one workout. But dramatically bring it up the next day or so. So I think this is what happened to me with my last testosterone test before this one. Uh, my score was more in the mid range and I think it was because I worked out really hard the night before and I had to wake up real early and I felt kind of groggy but I was like I, I gotta get my blood drawn so I can show everybody this goddamn sexual weightlifting bonobo has some good blood work. And I, and I didn't really do anything different and the only thing I did different really was maybe I ate more pomegranates which supposedly increases testosterone according to a study I found. And I got mine done in the afternoon compared to the morning which actually should be a detriment because testosterone is supposed to be higher in the morning but I was feeling really pumped up that day and I was like I gotta get this over with. So anyways, the point being is that testosterone can fluctuate and there's tons of things that affect it. So you know, if you're low one day, just get it done again. It's probably going to be, probably going to be different. There's a million things that affect it. Also, I want to touch upon all these ex-vegan influencers out there. I don't know who they're influencing. Certainly not me. You know, these people have some kind of weird fish fetish, and they have a little bit of fish after all these years of being vegan. And all of a sudden, they get these magical fish boners and have wet dreams about it. All I gotta say is that these people are completely delusional. And reality is, they severely under ate, did a bunch of crazy things like drank piss for a year and probably had a bunch of anxiety listening to all these nutcase conspiracy theories out there. I, I hope they come back to reality, which I don't know if they can. They're, they're so delusional. You know, I don't know if it's the placebo effect with them or whatnot. They hear something, they're like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, fish gave me a boner, gave me a wet dream. It, it, it's madness. Let me just tell you. There's no, you know, there's no fish boner study out there, okay? It's actually just apps. There's studies on how this stuff can mess up your hormones, ruin your blood flow, and it's linked to infertility and actually can hurt pregnant women and fetuses from all the mercury in it. And it's one of the top foods that they tell pregnant women to avoid, like things like tuna and salmon and all that kind of stuff. Now, to contrast, there's studies on how Watermelon increases erections and nutritionfacts.org actually did a video on it. It's actually one of their top videos, surprisingly, on YouTube and how watermelon increases erections. Anyways, I'll leave you with that. Thank you for watching. This is Fruit and Strength.